Hey guys, it's Jesse Millman. Uh, we're back with another bike check. As I said in my previous one with my Spectral, uh, I'm moving to the Strive now that we're in Europe. Um, so yeah, that was always kind of the plan was to, to switch onto the Strive. First time I hopped on this bike, it rode really well. So I only chose the Spectral for Tasmania because I thought it was going to be a little bit smoother and um, not needing this drive. And now that we're in Europe, like super stoked to have this bike. Obviously did really well last weekend in Pietra. Um, so yeah, Canyon's drive, uh, it's 160 mils in the back. I'm running 180 mil fork on the front, RockShox Zeb. I've got uh, 50 PSI in the fork right now. I've been running like 48 or 50 with two or three volume spacers. And right now I'm at 50 PSI with two volume spacers. Uh, high speed compression, I've got one click from open, so four from closed, uh, 11 on uh, low speed compression, nine on the rebound. Um, that's been super sweet. On the Super Deluxe in the rear, 135 PSI. Uh, compressions are all set to the middle, so that's three on high speed compression and low speed compression. Rebound, I believe, is at 11 or 12. Um, and that's been super sweet. And something else around the, the shock there is that shape shifter. Uh, that's actually like a really cool technology uh, for transitions. It makes like them way easier. So like you're not pedaling a whatever 63 and a half degree head angle enduro bike up a hill. It changes it by, I think, one and one and a half degrees and it changes the anti squat. So the pedaling's a lot better. Um, to deal with that, we've custom like modified my dropper post lever, uh, which is kind of something my mechanic did, which is really sick to make. I really like the new axis shifter pods. So we made the like my dropper post look and feel like in the same spot. So that's really sweet. Uh, I'm still running the new XX transmission on this bike, which has been pretty much faultless. Uh, I've got the now carbon XX cranks on there. Uh, they're just a little bit lighter, even though I really like the look of those uh, XO cranks. Uh, wheels, we're now on, I don't know what I was in the last bike check, but we're on 28 spoke uh, 511s. Uh, I just, I think I prefer for Enduro the 30 mil wide rim. It just, we have to do a lot of like floating over natural stuff and the 2.4 tire on the 20, 25 mil internal rim was like good, it cut in, it was precise, but I didn't find I floated as much over the, the rough stuff. So I've gone to the 511s. They're also more durable, but we went to the 28 spoke to get a little bit more compliance in there. Um, for this race, we're in Leo Gang, Austria. I've gone DHR2 front and back, uh, DH casing. Um, they're just a little bit faster and we're not really fighting for traction here, so I don't really need the Asagai up front. Uh, brakes, same as before. Can't talk about those, but they've been amazing. Uh, we're running this 170 mil reverb dropper reversed with some special clamps. And I drilled out a hole in my seat to make it all fit, but that's awesome so I don't get any seat buzz and I can run a full dropper, which is uh, pretty key when you're kind of getting all over the back of the bike. Uh, I've got a seat from Ergon, carbon rails, but I just like the shape of it. It kind of rolls off a little bit more than the Enduro one. New grips from Ergon, which have been, which have been really sweet. Uh, running Canyon G5 cockpit. So I've gone, this bike has a lot higher stack height than the Spectral. So I had to lower my bars quite a bit and I was on, I think 40 mils, 40 mil rise bars on the Spectral. Uh, and I didn't like the look of like the slam stem and the high bars. So I raised my, raised my stem and got 20 mil bars on there. 40 mil stem on this bike. Uh, we're running in the shortest position. We have like a 10, 10 mil, uh, 10 mils of room on the, on the headset there. So that's kind of cool to play with. And on some longer, like faster tracks, I might, I might play with a longer reach. Uh, we got some new crank feather pedals on there. I'm still running the Maladies, but they're just uh, the new camo version, which matched my shoes that I'm wearing, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Ran through it there pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, overall, like the Strive has a really nice suspension platform. Like it's really supple off the top and then provides really good mid-stroke support and then it doesn't really blow through travel. It's not as progressive as the Rocky, but it's still like with the damping of the Rock Shocks really like, I just find it really composed. Um, I'm really enjoying the bike. And yeah, I think uh, I'm excited to race this weekend. And yeah, if you have any more questions, just, you know, put it down in the comments below. I think I went through most of it and some of my reasons why, but uh, maybe I forget some things, but uh, yeah, I think that's all good. So thanks for watching and uh, Hopefully see you at some races around the trails.